looks like the market has too. Hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty. And honestly, for the past six to seven months, the real estate market has been a little shaky, but we may have just seen some sunshine peeking through those lingering clouds. As the wildflowers begin to bloom, we're starting to see similar signs in the local real estate market. So let's take a look at the numbers and see what's really happening. These are the numbers for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. And on this first chart, it shows us the inventory. And as you can see in the light green, we saw the eighth straight month of decline of homes for sale going from 1,690 homes in February down to 1,586 homes for sale in March. And in the dark green, we see the sold and closed properties, which we saw an increase for the third straight month, going from February 1114 homes sold to 1363 in March. It's definitely a great sign to see this metric to continue to trend upward. In the red is the pending sales, which also continues to trend up for the third straight month, going from 1,323 pending homes in February to 1,511 in March. This is a key indicator that buyers are more active in the market, and it likely relates to sellers becoming more realistic on their pricing. Now on this next chart shows the price per square foot, which we saw an increase for the second straight month, going from $314 a square foot in February to $324 per square foot in March, putting a slightly under the average price per square foot that we saw in January of 2022. On this next graph, we have the list to closed ratio which actually increased from 95% in February up to 97% in March. Again, this is likely to the sellers becoming more realistic on their pricing due to the market adjustments over the past six months. And down below in the orange, we see the average days on the market has decreased by seven days from February to March, taking homes on average only 49 days to sell. And on this last chart, we see the month's worth of inventory. This chart shows us how long it will take to sell the existing inventory, which dropped from 1.5 months in February to 1.2 in March, putting the market at the same levels back in April of 2022. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, inventory continues to stay at historic lows but you still have lots of options and sellers have become more realistic towards pricing and even willing to negotiate. We've also seen interest rates slightly drop and some new down payment assistant programs becoming available, so it's a great time to buy. And what does this mean if you're a seller? Well, anytime the inventory is low, buyers have to compete for desirable homes. If the home is priced right and in good condition, we're seeing multiple offers, which drives the price up. And we're still seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers looking to relocate in the greater Sacramento area. So if you are considering selling, we may already have a qualified buyer that we're working with. So if you are thinking about buying or selling, please feel free to give us a call for a free strategy session. We've helped over 7,500 families in over 35 years in the greater Sacramento, and we would love the opportunity to assist you in your real estate goals. Just feel free to give us a call at either 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. Thanks and happy spring.